So, it's general election 2015 time where you get to vote for who you want to be the new political party to represent our great and beautiful and wonderful country of the United Kingdom. Bollocks. But I voted anyway. I said, fuck it. I haven't voted the last couple of times because I, you know, I've, got, I've always got the same, I think the same way every year. I'm thinking, they're just sitting there lying, they're talking bullshit. But at the end of the day, I decided to go out and vote today because, you know, change isn't going to happen unless you go out and make it happen. You know, you, you, can, you can sit there and I'm not going to vote every year and it's, it is a fucking wasted vote. By not voting, you're just letting the same assholes get in year in, year out. So, I've been told over the last couple of weeks to vote for, uh, by a couple of people, to, to, you know, vote for Tories or vote for Labour because if you don't vote for the Tories, i.e. the Conservatives or Labour, then your, your vote's going to be a wasted one because, you know, there's no way that, you know, the Liberal Democrats are going to win. There's no way UKIP are going to win. There's no way any of the other parties are going to win. Just vote for one of them too. But you see, I voted for these motherfuckers in the past and I can't stand the Tories and I can't stand Labour. I voted for Labour about 24 years ago in the early 90s. I regret it every day since because they destroyed they, and they ha they're still, you know, they've just fucking destroyed it in the past. They've destroyed this country. And so is the fucking Tories. The Tories haven't done much better. They're, they're both as bad as each other. They sit there and they just feed you the same fucking bullshit. And I've had shit come through my fucking door all week. Well, for the last two weeks, I've had this fucking bullshit come through my door. Now like this. Fucking... I've never seen so much fucking junk mail come through my door. And I've got a little sign outside my door saying, No junk mail. Please, this address does not accept junk mail. Please do not put it through my fucking door. Yeah, they put this shit through my fucking door anyway, the greasy little cunts. And I'll tell you something, if I see that fucking postman in the next fucking ten fucking years, I'll thump the cunt. I don't condone violence here, but he's going to get a black eye if I see him, man. Little motherfucker. Oh, we, we, we have to deliver it, you see. We get paid to deliver it. <laughs> well, you have to take it off. It's, Fuck you, man. Stop putting shit through my fucking letterbox. When it says on the outside, no fucking junk mail, you cunt. Anyway, they decide to put all kinds of shit. Look. <laughs> the fuck is this shit coming through my fucking door? Look, this is something by the Labour. We have 24 hours to save our NHS. Labour will save your NHS. Excuse me, but <coughs> wasn't it fucking Labour who fucked the NHS up in the first place? You fucking greasy, no good cunts. You know, fucking bullshit. Look at this, look at this shit, look. Save the NHS, look, put a little fucking, little, little fucking case, look, save the NHS. Suck a fucking ball bag, you cunt. I'm sorry, I'm fucking sorry, but they put so much shit from my letterbox, I just get wound up. There's more of them. You could rip them up all fucking day. They keep coming. They keep coming through my letterbox. That's the same fucking shit I just ripped up, man. Oh, my fucking day. It's like another basket. Fucking bullshit. I hate Labour. I hate them. But it just seems to be Labour more than anyone who keeps shoving shit through my letterbox. You see, that's why I, if I had to go out and vote last week or this week, I would vote... For anybody but Labour, Labour are a bunch of fucking cunts. And Labour, Ed Miliband, oh my fucking days. Ed Miliband has to be the greasiest shit brick living in today. He's the twat of the fucking century. Fuck twat of the week, fuck twat of the day, fuck twat of the month, fuck twat of the year. He's the fucking twat of the fucking century. He's the greasiest cunt I have ever seen in my fucking life. Just take a look at a picture of Ed Miliband. Here's a picture right now. You see what I'm talking about? That's a greasy motherfucker right there. Real fucking greasy. Real fucking ugly. You know, just take a fucking... I'm not saying I hate the guy, yeah? I don't hate anybody. But I just, I'd love to take a blowtorch to that cunt's face. Okay! Anyway, then we have the Tories. We have the Tory shit coming through our door. And we have our fucking plum fucktars like Boris Johnson. <laughs> Cycle around London. It's such a wonderful, wonderful place. It's a fucking wonderful, wonderful place without the fucking Tories. If I started talking about the Tories, i.e. the Conservative Party, I would have a fucking stroke in front of this camera. I wouldn't be alive to see another day. And you probably wouldn't be watching this video now because I wouldn't be uploading it because I'd be fucking dead. But don't worry, I know I just ripped up, but there's another one. Fucking set. Oh, multiple bollocks coming through my door. I'm not bullshitting when I said this. It is literally 8 o'clock at night, yeah? Here's my poll card. Here's my poll card, which comes through the door. You get a poll card. 
and it tells you to go down and vote. Now you've got until 10 o'clock to vote today, which is the 7th of May, okay? You've got until 10 o'clock to vote. Only about two minutes ago, I just when I just done a jump cut for this video, four motherfuckers knocking at my door. I stepped my head out the window. I I'm not opening the door up to these pricks because I don't know what, I can't, I can't be held accountable for my fucking actions, yeah? Four motherfuckers outside. Two little yuppie looking student cunts working for labour. And then you have the old guy who has to, you know, I'm old so you've got to respect me because I, you've got to respect your elders. Four of these motherfuckers standing outside, vote for labour with a little belly. Yeah, they come round like in the last few days and they're so nice to people. Excuse me, would you mind voting for labour? Go ahead. You, you really, really want to vote for Labour because Labour will do so much for this country, blah, blah, blah. Talk a load of bollocks. As soon as the elect, and it's eight o'clock on election night, you've only got two hours left to vote. These cocksuckers are coming around your door at eight o'clock at night. Why? Eight o'clock. When well, we're going to run down to the election ballot for two fucking hours to vote for Labour because I have a four fucking twats on my doorstep. I don't fucking think so, fucking motherfuckers. I'm sorry for all the swearing. I'm just really wound up. I hate this bullshit. Anyway, I went down. I didn't vote for Labour. I didn't vote for the Tories. I voted for someone different. I'm not saying who I voted for. I'm going to keep that my personal private information. <laughs> but I didn't vote for the Tories. I didn't vote for Labour because they're, they're, they're both no good cunts and I hate the pair of them. Okay, so we only have a few hours left of this voting going on, and tomorrow morning we'll definitely know for sure who's going to be running this country. I have my ideas who it's going to be, I think that most people do. So I guess we're just going to have to see what twat takes over. This is Watchdog Central, I shall see you in the next video when I'm not so vulgar. I do apologise for the swearing. Honestly, you don't know what came over me. Peace out, bitches.